Hey guys, this is Derek. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing some hands-on stuff. As you can see, I am surrounded by woods. Some fallen trees. I mean, most of them are still good, but yeah, I do have a fallen tree right here. I might try to cut the rest of that down, maybe clean up some of these branches. Um, I like to go up a little further. Show you guys this uh, piece of clearing. One of the big things about being out here. Oh. Yeah, you can see some trails. I mean, not too major, but got a pretty decent clearing. Yeah, it goes all the way down to that one tree. It's not very wide, but it's lengthy. And yeah, you can see there's another spot up here. Actually, you know what? I'll actually go into this area right here. Because this area right here, that's actually moderately cleaned up. Yep. Telltale sign where this is going to be the spot. Mark right here. Yes, I uh, tend to make markings, so that way it'll tell me where I need to be, and stuff like that. Um, yes, I do have my backpack with me, so it's all full of goodies. There.
my best friends right now. Definitely feel, makes your feel arms feel a lot more tense. Oh. And that was only two little branches. Remember, safety.
Hey guys, so uh, yeah, you see me uh, do a little cleanup. I got a good pile of branches there. I mean, yeah, I still got a little more cleanup to do, but um, yeah, you guys seen me break out my fold up saw and my hatchet. Um, I do have to hit this group of branches too, but I just wanted to go over one thing with you really quick. Uh, it's something called geocaching. Um, a lot of you won't know what that term is, um, so I'll, I'll actually explain it to you. Geocaching is something where you can actually find, say, a hole kind of like this. Yeah, it's a mess right now, but, you know, clean it up a little bit and say, you know, you go out, you get food or um, tender or something to help your cause to stay longer in the woods, go for it. Um, as long as you have supplies, which I I only have my bag that's hanging up on the tree over there um, Right now, I'm just doing a lot of basic cleanup to see if I can actually get a little sight going here That's under some trees as you can see I do have some good shade That way I know I'm not gonna end up getting too warm plus I have oh Might want to watch out for that branch at some point Cause that will come down so i might have to camp out in a different location unless i do go closer to the trees up there but i might have to try and pull that down um but anyway back to geocaching um it's something to help want more long-term survival outdoors um the woods great place for a lot of a lot of wood and different things plus it's noticeably cooler you usually get more protection depending on what kind of tree you're under i mean you want to pick a good healthy live tree none where branches are hanging down like that which i'm gonna have to get to i might have to try and yank it down um i'll see what i can do it looks like it's still partially alive i don't know yeah there's leaves on it um but geocaching is basically like your food storage or in a sense mother nature is your storage <laughs> hence geocaching um geo meaning earth caching meaning storage you're storing stuff in mother earth um but other than that i will do some more work on this and hopefully you guys like click like subscribe i will definitely keep you guys posted and i'll do a lot more in the woods i might even do it show you guys some uh shelter building out here too if you uh if i get those subscribes and the likes i'll definitely get to the um shelter building and a few other things too um until then be sure to click like, subscribe, and let's get out to the woods. Hey guys, um, so I'm actually just leaving the woods. And one of the big things, <coughs> knowing where you've been, because sometimes you can get very disoriented, especially if there are no trails. That right there could be a telltale sign of where you've been. As long as you know where what's to look for you guys are good and i'll show you know, this thing may not look it but that's an extra 30 pounds and that's just a lot of my basic tools that i'll be using um yeah you're talking shovel saw hatchet rope uh stuff for holding water that's one of the lightest um binoculars knives you know just a lot of the basics just to kind of help build and tear down and you know change your situations a lot of it can actually be clipped to your belt which is a plus you're not carrying so much on your back It'll actually be disperse a little bit more. 
and you know that's part of the reason why I talked about geocaching um, some of the stuff I could actually leave behind say I find a really nice spot to want to stay at camp out at you know stuff like that so I decided to actually you know build a shelter which wood not in a short supply here I mean some trail cleanup and stuff so you're not tripping which I also did pack a uh, a little med kit or all well, not a med kit but a uh, first aid kit there's a difference between a med kit and a first aid kit first first aid gives your basic bandages uh, stuff to clean up wounds with and some painkillers med kit is to help a little more with your health too like having uh, aspirins and stuff for allergies and bug bites snake bites you know stuff like that just so that way if they're in more dire need they'll have a med kit honestly it's actually a not a bad idea especially if you're going on long hikes or anything like that to actually make a med kit that way you never know what you're going to encounter and I'd rather have something and not need it than not have something and need it and you know something bad happen to you yeah so you can tell I'm pretty ways away from where I was but as saying goes, I'm not out of the woods yet. So, I'll see you guys on the other side. 